January 27th, 2019. Bit of a snowstorm going on out here. It is 4.30 in the morning. We are just waiting for Mark Hunter to show up and we are on our way north for the first lake trout battle of the year. It's early. It is snowing pretty good out here and from what I just saw in the weather report, it's going to snow a whole lot worse on the way up, but we are going, we've made plans. I've done a ton of vlogging this year, so we're waiting for Mark Hunter to come and we're heading north in search of a big natural lake trout. We gotta stop and get some Tim Hortons and the next stop after that, hopefully it's gonna be Laker Town. Don't worry, it didn't fall. But it's icy out here. The snow is coming down. We're a quarter of the way to Laker Act. Marky, that snow's coming down, eh, brother? Oh, is it ever. Met up with Mark. Every gas station on the way here was closed. Yep. We're in Lakefield, Ontario, about a quarter of the way to the lake. We're gonna be late. We're gonna be really late. We're gonna be really late. The snow is pounding down. It's saying that it's gonna end about 9 a.m. It's actually not as bad here as it was in between Port Hope and Peterborough. We're giving her, though. Like my new hat? Yeah, you got a new Fear Vision hat? Yeah, I did. Do it getting samples made. We may be bringing the hats back, but we're gonna gas up the truck and we're gonna continue the journey. The only thing is it's, it's going to suck driving there today, but these fish should bite if we make it. So on the road in a winter wonderland, it is pounding down the snow. It's like driving the Millennium Falcon instead of the Daiwa Battle Wagon. <laughs> To Bancroft, we just picked up some McDonald's. Snow got, the snow got better after Lakefield. Between Lakefield and Bancroft, it wasn't that bad. No, not at all. I don't even think it's uh, snowing a little it's bit. Snowing a little bit. We yeah. got, we're probably an hour away from where we're headed, but we're getting closer. <sighs> we're an hour behind schedule. Yeah. Because of the snow, it was crazy between Port Open and Lakefield. Just absolutely nuts, but we're making good time now. We got some food. Next stop, we should be there. Let's do it. Woo. Made it, brother. Wow, what a trip that was, man. Dude, I opened my mouth when we were in Bancroft and I was like, oh, the snow's not that bad. It's been a nice drive. And then it pounded down the snow. Yeah. At least we have some light, a lot easier to see. It is, it was uh, tough driving in the dark, but when the sun came up, it, it wasn't that bad. Hitting the ice now, brother. Woo, we're looking this, for a man. giant. Couple other uh, guys we know, Mitchell's here. Hopefully somebody gets an absolute donkey of a fish. So let's hit the water. Yeah, let's do this. Let's get out there, I'm excited. Should probably uh, talk to you guys more, but I'm so excited to get out on the water, that's what we're doing. Wish us luck.
painfully slow day. I have hardly been out of the hut. It is like a tornado out there. Two bites, had about a dozen followers, nothing on the ice. Mark is about 50 yards away from me. He's had about the same fishing I have. Four o'clock, Mitchell and Anthony, who I met today, they are on the other side of this point, on the other side of the hump of this point, about 250 yards away. They got a 20 pounder and a bunch of little ones. So. Four o'clock, let's hope the fish move over to Aunt Mark and I's side for the afternoon and we land some fish. If I could get one at this point, oh, there comes one up, I would be absolutely pumped. They're acting real weird. I've never had them this finicky before. They don't want to chase. This morning, it snowed, 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 and this afternoon it's colder and hell. Let me get the snot off my nose for <laughs> Marky, we didn't do so hot. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a good day. We battled seen hard. Him. Seen them. We, we yeah. seen them, we had a ton of falls, we battled hard. Yeah. Uh, Mitchell and his buddy got some fish. Yeah, so we heard. So we heard they were on the other side of the shoal. They were far, like maybe 300 no. meters. 300 meters, 300 yards. Around the same depth, I understand. We got, uh, it's gonna be a seven hour round trip today. <laughs> oh my God. That's a lot of driving for no fish, homie. Yeah. We're one for two. We are, yeah, yeah. So we're bad. So, but if you think about it, last year on the vlog, we did terrible at Quinny, and we got a ton of Lakers. Yeah, we did, so. This year we got Quinny Walleye, and the Lakers hate our guts. We jinxed it, man. We did, bro, good right, day. Next time. Let's get on the road. Finally made it home from the lake. I can't believe we got skunk today. That is one of my favorite lakes to catch. Lake trout through the ice on. I quickly want to show you, in theory, how to find laker spots on northern ontario lakes they're basically great big bowls so you gotta find a little structure find the bait and you will find the fish well and i'm gonna talk about today too i met anthony out on the ice who was with my buddy matt mitchell he caught that stud of a fish like 200 300 yards from where we were let me show you what we were doing usually this pans out and we got fish there I, this is i've been there fishing there for 15 years so only like second or third time i've ever been skunked we won't draw the whole lake but basically what we're fishing is a, a point when you look at the point i've been fishing there a long time there's no navionics for this lake the point comes out like this underwater right here be pretty shallow but in this area it's about 40 feet here 35 here 26 and down the sides a really quick drop off from 60 70 80 and then out in the abyss out here i'm almost positive it goes 200 feet or deeper we mark and i were set up on mark was about 65 feet and i was set up about 71. what happens here is the bait fish which are these big old cisco just travel along through here the lakers jump in and out, pick them off. Matt and Anthony were set up on this side. They smoked them. We had fish come in, we saw bait, but we sadly didn't get any. Why didn't Mark and I move over here? That's bad fishing etiquette, folks. If we were killing them on the other side, I'm sure Matt and Anthony would have stayed on their side. They fished yesterday, they didn't get a single hit, so they put the work in and knew where the fish were. Good on them, but that's simple. All you gotta do is find you know, points, rock piles, shoals, it makes it a lot easier when there's navionics off for the bodies of water. This lake is pretty small. It's taken a long time to, you know, figure that out. And sadly today, it didn't work for us. While I was sitting in my hut today, I kept thinking, man, I wish I could just hit my trolling motor and move 10 feet. It's amazing. It's amazing how much, you know, 10 feet, if any of you guys who ice fish a lot, 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet can make a huge difference when you're fishing in an eight inch hole 
vertically jigging, let alone two or three hundred yards. So and when it comes to ice fishing, you really, really, really got to be on them if you're going to catch fish. Not all bad news. I had a great day with Mark. I met Anthony. Never, you know, got to catch up with Mitchell. I had a great time with Mark driving. This morning's drive was crazy. It's like nine o'clock now. Almost four hour drive this morning. Two almost three hours to get home. Ton of driving today, ton of fishing, not a lot of success, but it's ice fishing season. I'd rather get these skunk days out of the way now. That way when the boat comes out, it'd be hammer time. Big news this week, the BPT starts. Live streaming starts on Tuesday. It's gonna run through Sunday. Tell me, are you guys excited to watch this? Are, are you Bass Live Tournament Angler fans? As much as I like to bass fish, I'm a huge fan of the sport and I will be tuning in on Tuesday morning and I'm gonna to try to watch as much as I can this week. I don't know about the whole BPT thing, Major League Fishing, but time will tell. This week is an exciting, everybody's gonna get their first look at it. Let me know in the comments what you're gonna be watching or maybe you don't watch fishing tournaments at all. Another thing you can do is, what do you wanna see more of from the Fear Fishing Channel in 2019? We're working on some stuff, we're trying to be more creative. Let us know what you think. What, what do you wanna see? Put it in the comments. Let me know about Major League Fishing. Follow on Instagram. We only went ice fishing 10 times last year, so if we went 10 times this year, that'd be great. I'm not, I like ice fishing one step above, not fishing at all. I used to go ice fishing a lot, but times have changed. I'm getting older, don't like to be cold. I like to go ice fishing. I like boat fishing a whole lot better. Follow on Instagram, follow on Facebook, hit that bell button, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it so much. Lots of big things to come, lots of big news. Remember, just like the podcast, it's an experiment all year. Let me know what you want to see in 2019 in the comments. I'm going to eat some food and I'm going to bed. It's been a long day. We'll see you soon.